Happy Friday, Mythical Beasts. Um, I want to talk to you about something. Just a second ago, I was at the CVS getting a Valentine's Day card for my wife. It's The timing is right. Yep. As long as you do it before Valentine's Day, you're okay. Uh -huh. Now, I'm in line, and I'm behind this woman who has the haircut. The haircut? We call it the Sonic the Hedgehog haircut around here. And the best way for me to describe it to you is to show you a picture of the old Kate Goslin haircut link. There it is right there. You may call it the Kate Goslin. We call it the Sonic the Hedgehog. Except obviously it's not blue. Okay, so you can see. It's sort of a normal or maybe almost normal haircut in the front and then the reverse spike in the back. And, what? okay, first of all, observation. In North Carolina, in these parts of North Carolina, 75% of all health care workers who are women have this haircut. It's I true. I, I have no idea. So everywhere I go, I see women in scrubs. You know, they're like assistants, like dental assistants and uh, these kinds of uh, people. With, with the these sonic colorful hedgehog. scrubs and then the haircut. And usually they're dark-haired women with blonde highlights. That's what this woman had. And it was an extreme version of this. She had a huge spike and then she had a the huge... It gets longer as it comes to the front. It swoops down and has all these highlights. So... Kind of like a helmet. The thing that I want to figure out is, how did this haircut come about? Here's my theory. Hmm. There was an otherwise respectable woman who got an otherwise respectable haircut one day. Leaving the beauty salon kind of thing? Yes. And as she's leaving and on her way, wherever else she was going to go, for some reason she had to ride in the back of a truck, facing backwards. <laughs> for approximately four to five miles, at at least 45 miles per hour. Oh, yeah. And then she was upset. She's like, my hair's rumped. That's ruined. Rumped. 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 My hair's rumped. And she, right. get, she, gets to, she gets to her next destination, and one of her friends, one of her friends who is a woman, is there. And she's all upset about her hair, but then her friend's like, Well, hold on, darling. I think I like it. I think I really like it. And yeah. thus, the Sonic the Hedgehog haircut was born. Link. It definitely wasn't her husband, because no man, no man in his right mind would ever say, that is a good looking yeah, haircut. And that's a message for you ladies. If you've got the Sonic the Hedgehog haircut, no man likes it. No man. Your girlfriends may like it. No man likes it. Thank you. Even if they're a fan, even if they're a fan of Sonic the Hedgehog, they don't want their woman to look like it. That's all I'm saying. Okay, my theory, and then we want to invite your theories on the origination of this crazy Sonic the Hedgehog haircut. For me, I don't think it's a fashion statement. I think it is a defense mechanism. Mm. Think about it. It's like the quills on a porcupine. It oh, looks yeah. like a porcupine. Matter of fact, it looks like a porcupine is mating with the back of a woman's head. <laughs> yes. oh, yeah. Look, there he is. There he is. Oh my gosh, get that porcupine. Do you know what he's doing back there? No, get him off of there. Mm. Somebody get a, get a bat or a net or something. All right, what is your theory as to the origin of the Sonic the Hedgehog haircut? And, Leave a comment. And why won't it die? And why won't it die?